In this video, I will add some important rules that will be used in the next propositions of Euclid's elements. First, we begin by replacing the equal sign with a symbol called the congruent symbol. In Euclid's elements, we must only use the congruent symbol since we are not working with numbers, but only shapes, lines, and angles. But in geometry, the congruent symbol functions the same way as the equal sign. Next, in definition 4, we talked about angles and right angles, but we need to add an important rule. When a straight line has another straight line set on top, making both adjacent angles congruent, then both angles must be right angles. And last, we will introduce axiom 5, which says that the whole is greater than the part. For example, if two angles are given, we can easily see that angle ABC is greater than angle ABD. Furthermore, axiom 5 says that if A is greater than B and C is congruent to D, then A plus C must be greater than B plus D. Again, if A is greater than B and B is congruent to C, then A is also greater than C. So this completes our updated list of definitions and axioms. Notice that there are gaps in our list. To fill in its place are the remaining rules that we will introduce in a later video.